hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are just going to rotate the button whenever this button is clicked so you can see over here uh, we have a button that's just rotates on the fractions of uh, 40 seconds so you just need some basic uh, mathematical rule in order to just rotate this button and it's really really easy to just rotate it so it this is the continuation of my previous project so here uh, we are just using our c sub in order to just uh, 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 use uh, rotate this button uh, to a 360 degree uh, on the fractions of 40 seconds so how it is done let's uh, check out our tutorial uh, now the, you can see over here we have app.xaml.cs and here I'm just telling that main page to start from my button page so this my button page is just a content page which is a csr based page so you just need to add a new file then create forms here you can see a csr file just give it a name as my button page you can just use your main page to no issues and use your xaml uh, where uh, a button will be there and whenever that button is clicked uh, then what happens so uh, here we can see over here this, this is just a csr binding to in order to get that uh, page working we have a content which has encapsulated a button inside it as a children right so whenever that button is clicked then uh, we are going to get this while loop and inside that while loop we are just going to rotate on the fraction of 360 degree, 360 uh, uh, floating point value and then we are going to rotate on the basis of 14 fraction seconds so you can just use a calculator to get uh, that rotation on the basis of uh, your requirement on which uh, fraction second you want it and then we can just uh, tell that we are going to rotate it uh, till it reaches to 360 degrees so it keeps on rotating like this way uh, and never ends and I want you to just play around with this button uh, button that rotates uh, in opposite direction or goes from clockwise direction and play around with it and I'm also going to play around with this button click stuffs so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials